And with the second pick, the Boston Bruins select from the Plymouth Whalers, Tyler Sagan. Now it's Tyler Sagan's moment now after Taylor Hall goes first overall. And you know what? Sometimes number two isn't bad either. Remember Chris Pronger went second overall in the draft one year. So did Denny Savard. He worked out better than Alexander Dague, I'll tell you that. This is a can't-miss player. Composure, he wants the puck. He maybe doesn't play as hard a game as what you'll see from Taylor Hall, but the skill level's there. And there have been these comparables, Bob, to Steve Eiserman. I don't know if those are fair to this player, but I'll tell you one thing right now. He is almost ready to be an NHL player. I'm not sure he's ready to be one yet, but he's almost ready to be one. Now, remember, you talk about the scoring that Taylor Hall did for Windsor, playing for a much inferior team in Plymouth. Tyler Sagan accounted for 21% of his team's goals and 47% of the goals they scored he was involved in. To your point, Pierre, he is considered more of a perimeter player, and that's not a that's sometimes used Thanks. in a derogatory term in hockey. That's not the case as his parents, Paul and Jackie, look on. He plays more of a perimeter game. He's not careful at all, but he plays that perimeter game because he's such a good playmaker and he holds up. He has a great change of pace. Fast, slow, pull up, find the open man, break people down, and get people to the net. A lot of coaches in the Ontario Hockey League say there's not a huge amount of difference between this player, Tyler Sagan, and Steven Stamkos. He scored 48 goals. He scored eight more goals than Taylor Hall over the course of this year. He's got a tremendous amount of offensive ability, both as a playmaker and as a goal scorer. And what he'll do is he'll make the wingers in Boston better. Now, again, we talk about that depth they have down the middle and I like what Bob said because I do think somebody's going to be the odd man out in Boston at the center ice position and you got to think because of cap situation it's going to be Mark Savard. Are we assuming that Tyler Sagan's playing in Boston next year? Well he's got to make the team that's why I don't think he's NHL ready. I think, I, he's, I think he's close. He's darn close. Uh, I, I think there's an excellent chance that he'll be there.